Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's a beautiful Saturday. Clouds finally are going away a little. Um, but this is our vase. I glossed it and I did not touch it. Not one finger smudge. <laughs> I was patient for once. Isn't that pretty? So I was really happy with it. Hopefully you're getting a good lighting being outside. That's why I brought it out here so you can see it. I thought this is the beautifulest, the front. I couldn't believe it. So hopefully, yeah, you're getting a good lighting of it. <laughs> I love it though. I'm going to take that into the house and then do a painting. So thank you, Brandy, for the color suggestions and Abby. Yes, I believe it was Abby. Sorry if I'm wrong for the silver. Can we be with you guys in a minute? Okay, so just in case it didn't show up outside, it is so shimmery and beautiful. I love this, and I am going to use these same colors for a large face. There's no doubt. Just beautiful. The silver in there just really accented it too. So it's awesome. So hopefully you're getting a good glimpse of it. Okay. Try to go fast, okay? So I am using Deep turquoise. Okay, heavy bodied. Oh, four parts flow trial on that. Then I'm using, oh my gosh, champagne. These are all metallic except for that deep turquoise. And that's why I'm liking about this. Because that kind of just stands out really cool. Well, I practiced on it, so. <clears throat> And then, metallic pewter, ultra bright. And then, I used bright, I mixed bright rose gold, rose gold, and copper together. Wanted it not so dark copper. I just thought maybe all three of them would be pretty, and they did turn out real pretty. <clears throat> now, what other color? Oh, peacock t pearl metallic. Okay, here goes. 16 by 20, and I did practice on a small canvas that I get from the dollar store. I just practice on these all the time. And that's what I got. So, hopefully I can repeat the same. I think maybe I need to put a little bit more of the deep turquoise. And maybe a little bit more copper. Uh, I was kind of afraid to. But then again, I don't want it loaded with copper either. So that was perfect. But you know, it never turns out the same. <laughs> All right. So here we go. 12 ounces for 16 by 20. And this is just stains from splatters. It stays sit over here on the side and get splattered on. Let me put something over here. No, actually I need something over here. So it don't turn. Excuse me. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> Scared. Okay. Was I light on? <clears throat> Just uh, I didn't go crazy with this. Okay. 
That's the champagne. Did I go crazy with the peacock tail? I think I did about the same amount. Did I go crazy? This is more like my contrast, too. So how did I do that? We're going to just... <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to always repeat when you don't do it right away in a row. Not too much, because I know this copper can get carried away. And then I did a painting last night with the rose gold, and it just sunk to the bottom. didn't show up at all. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know. Even about. Four, six, eight, ten. Just a little more. Let's go with, oh my, uh, we'll just go in an order with a small little bit each. <laughs> and I always do 12. Okay. And I did do a small little swirl. Oh, hope I didn't get carried away on that teal. And I'll bet you that copper's not going to show up either. Well, I'm just paranoid now. Okay. Oh, I just poured too much there, and I rubbed my cup. Well, I guess it's okay. So here comes that champagne. <laughs> I always rub my cup, and then I just went bloop. metallic -y, that's for sure. I still haven't gotten to Home Depot to get staples. I sure hope that that stays like this. <sighs> yeah, I get under pressure when I do these beautiful colors. When they're not so beautiful, I don't care too much. I don't know why. Well, all colors are beautiful, but you know what I mean. These are this one's supposed to be special for me. <laughs> it would make my day if this turns out beautiful. Now that canvas was very pretty, the practice canvas. It looks like maybe this one's gonna be prettier. Although this big, huge copper. Might be an error, but we'll see. Like the old my dad, you say, we'll see, says the blind man to his deaf woman as he picked up the hammer and saw. 
think I said it right. <laughs> See, that has the blind man, the deaf woman, yeah. Yeah, I'm cracking up a little right now. With a fear. Because these are beautiful. Alright, now I don't want to catch these sides either because I don't want no funny stuff going on. So I'm just going to go really quick there. I do have plenty of paint, so. Alright. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. Please keep going in that direction. <sighs> I'm trying to go fast on this video, too. I'm just nervous something's going to look funny. You know what? Maybe I should hit this corner. No, I'm not going to keep going where I'm going here. Because I've got plenty of paint to stretch some off if I need to. Oh, this one's beautiful so far. But look at that big, huge, oh, copper. Man. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that right now. I have to. I can't have that big huge copper right there oh man all right or should I wait it out no I know it's gonna just I'm just gonna go over it a little small swirl Oh. Oh my gosh, maybe I should leave it alone. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna leave it alone, guys. Oh, will that be okay in there? I suppose it will. Can always, you know, I can't really fix them once you pour everything off because then they look funny. But you know what? That's not looking too bad. That copper there, he's showing up somewhere this time. It's okay, I was freaking out. Take a look and see what we got there. Big, huge copper, but you know what? That's not bad. Ooh, that's cool. In there. Okay. That is not too bad. Crunch it up just a little bit. That's not bad. That's beautiful. All right. You know what? I like it because I normally have back and forth, same old thing. And look at that color showed up. The rose go out of the copper, of course, copper. But that's kind of unique right there. Uh, everything else did too. That peacock. Get these crazy cells popping up here, big ones. Okay, so that's it. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know why I get so nervous, but you know what? I'm liking that. I'm so glad I didn't go over that. Oh my gosh, let's take, make sure it don't speck up now. No, it's not. Oh, good thing, because I needed that copper in here. That really made it look pretty. Oh my goodness, I am happy. No, there's nothing I want to change on this one. I sure hope you're getting a beautiful picture of that. Oh my gosh. I was going to ruin this painting for a minute there, guys. Oh my gosh, I was going to ruin it. And look at there's that deep turquoise popping up through that big cor copper tooth. And <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Those colors go really good together too. Look at, there's a little bit of the champagne in there. All of those colors really do come from now. Look at this big old spot I was worried about and look it in there. Look at that. Well, of course you're going to look. What would you be watching for? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. All right. So I'll take a picture of it so you can view it from the beginning. And this is beautiful. Gorgeous picture. It's not real dark either. This is going to be just beautiful. I'm really glad that that turned out. Oh, my gosh. And I'm digging that because it gives it some, some character. A little bit of depth there. You know, just something else going on. Than my normal back and forth, you know, pattern. So I really like it. And I love this corner. I love that corner. And how would I hang it? Probably like this. This is so cool how it goes like that. Up. Let me see. Yeah, definitely this way. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one today. I will see you tomorrow for our uh, drawing. Thank you again. And go ahead and like and share and subscribe if you'd like to. That would be awesome. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.